Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to review a product and the product I'm reviewing today is a foundation. It is from Lotus and the name of the foundation is uh, Eco Stay Nourishing Foundation. It has SPF 20. So the price, I mean, it is retailed at 625 and I'm in the shade L2 Bright Angel. Well, there are four more shades. I don't exactly know the names of all the shades, but I will kind of write it down in the description box. At the back of the box, it's written that the Eco Stay Nourishing Foundation is a preservative free all day wear non oily foundation that gives skin the ultimate weightless coverage. This new luminous formula hydrates the skin, diminishes the appearance of fine lines without clogging pores, delays aging. In the front of the box, it says that this is uh, fit for all skin types and this is 100% vegetarian. So, this is a new sealed box. So, I'm just going to open and start the review. This is how the container looks. I think it looks really classy and I like the fact that it has a pump. Now, one pump gives out a fair amount of the product. On one side of my face, I'm going to apply the uh, product with my fingers. And for the other half, I'm going to use a wet makeup sponge. Now, I think that uh, for some reason, the... Uh, product really blends well with a uh, wet makeup sponge than fingers the texture of this product is really smooth and very nice to touch it has a dewy finish uh, once you blend it you'll be able to see you'll be able to understand that it has a dewy finish it is moisturizing and it is very nice and soft to touch now the product has a very faint or a very little smell which i think which which is kind of good it, you know the, it won't choke you well you can say that the product is somewhere between a full coverage foundation to a medium coverage foundation at this price i think it's really pretty good i mean uh, it does cover your blemishes to some extent especially i have a very bad dark circles so it does uh, cover my dark circles very well now i'll show you that on the side where i used the wet sponge it did cover up the dark circles better than the other side other half where i applied with my fingers so that maybe that has something to do with the blending which i said that uh, it did blend well with the sponge I don't know what happened over here but here my camera just did not record the audio so here I was explaining that I'm just going to do a transfer test for you guys right now and then uh, complete my makeup go out and come back after a few hours and let you guys know how much the foundation stayed on my face now for the transfer test I'm just going to use my phone I'm just going to pretend as if I'm speaking on the phone and press the phone against my skin and see if it can pick up the foundation or uh, I'll just let you know see I'm pressing it on my skin I'm moving my hands a little bit and now you can see that it did get transferred onto my phone's screen see a very little bit wait I'll show you see see it did get transferred a very little bit hey guys I'm back after three and a half hours so I would like to say that this foundation did not wear off much i am really very surprised that it did not wear off at all i can say you know it, it, it's kind of uh, it looks uh, the same way it, it, it did i do not do any kind of touch up not even with my lipstick it, nothing i did nothing you know and it it's just like you know the foundation is almost like the way it was before like guys so and i'm just gonna start with the pros and cons so i'll start with the pros first i think um, number one is the packaging well i like the packaging very much i think it's very classy it has a pump so you know you don't have to touch your foundation every time you're applying it on your face that's something really good number two is the price of the product i don't think the price of the product is too high for the product which they're giving you i think it's good i mean you know you don't have to complain about the price 
Number three is the finish. The finish is a velvety finish which is really good. Number four is the moisturizing effect of this product. I think this product does moisturize your face. It's not very drying or you know it doesn't it really doesn't clogs your pores. That is something very true. I, I think it, it is very light on the face. So now I'll go with the cons. Uh, bad things about this is Mm -hmm. um, number one is there there are no ingredient lists I mean nothing is mentioned so you exactly don't know what is meant what is what it is made up of or what is the formula so in case you are allergic to any of the ingredients you know you, there are certain things which we people are allergic to in that case you won't be able to know and number two is that um, uh, I'll say that it did crease a little bit under my eyes and you know it did settle into fine lines. They said that they're going to you know, this, this foundation is going to diminish the uh, fine lines but it, I think it settled in my fine, fine lines and made, the, made it look more prominent so that's something which I do not like. So overall it's a good experience. I think I like this product so I think it's kind of good, so you can use it definitely. I'll give it a 4 out of 5. Okay guys, I'm done with the review. I hope you like it. Please do like my video and subscribe. If you have some kind of video ideas, do share with me because I am a new YouTuber so I don't have much knowledge about videos. So you can of course share and let me know what you want to see next. So till then, bye bye.